So before I get to the story of the Volt, one of the biggest challenges we have right now with the Chevrolet Volt is getting people to understand what it really is. There's so many uh, hybrid vehicles out there or all electric vehicles. People really have a hard time, and, and again, in a very uh, crowded and competitive uh, automotive industry, it's very hard to kind of break through and help people understand that the unique proposition, and the Volt is the only vehicle that does it, you run and have the opportunity to have 35 plus miles of all electric range. And for 80% of the US population, that suits your daily driving needs. The other, the other thing was, was finding that sweet spot. As, we, as I talked about, the fact that you can go 35 miles pure electric, you know, understanding and how we picked and, and set up the vehicle was based on that. We looked at what the customer driving patterns were. And understanding that most people drive under 40 miles a day, uh, that became uh, how we built the concept. So it's not only just finding a great technology, you have to link it to a customer benefit. As I look at some of the challenges, because I believe at, at General Motors, I have the most talented group of engineers around the globe. So it's not a question, we can do anything, it's choosing what to expend our resources on. And the way that guides us is looking at what's gonna provide the most value for the customer. Whether you're in a business of one person or 100,000 people, that if you don't have an entrepreneurial bent you're not going to succeed in today's business with the global competition and just the ever-changing technology. It's going to take a lot of energy to get the organization to change. And I think the frustration for many people, again, in a couple decade ago, General Motors was that effort, it, it, you, you got worn out. Just like, forget it, I'll just do it this way, because you know, this way is the process. No, I'm not, you know, I'm not you know, fighting City Hall. But frankly, that you know, was one of the roots that was leading us to a bad place that caused us you know, in 2008 to have that restructuring. You have to know, again, no matter how big or small your organization is, if you create an environment that doesn't facilitate uh, innovation and everyone finding ways to continuously improve or, or creatively destruct and make it better, you're on a pathway out.